Captain Fathom. The Pub Enchanted Garden. Dr. Max Jorgensen of Western Shores Oceanographic Laboratories was in a minicapsule over 5,000 feet below the surface. He came upon a strange electronic device which he believed to be the cause of interference to a scientific research program. There. Hello, the chamber. I have my picture. Coming back. Okay, doctor. Hurry, will you? Meanwhile, not far away, in Western Shore's deep water diving chamber. How much longer we gotta stay here? This place gives me the willies. You got something against pretty seely, Frank? This kind of scenery, yeah. Seaweed higher than redwood trees. Sponges big as a house. It ain't natural, I tell you. Yeah, pretty weird. Well, the fish don't look no different. Be glad. Hold it! Did you feel that? I felt something. We just moved. Yeah. There it is again. WSO lab ship. Hello, lab ship. Do you read? Lab ship, we have trouble. What is it, Chamber? I can't tell. Feels like we're being dragged. Patton Wells, trouble in the chamber. I can't see outside. Something filmed me over the port. I don't know what. As Dr. Jorgensen arrives in the area, he can see the chamber being pulled by a strange force. Incredible. All 300. I want to sit on this coal layer till it runs out. Where are we on the chart, Pee Wee? Right here, Captain. Here's the Solomon Islands, northwest of us. Mm -hmm. Our present course in the Coral Sea Basin is bringing us up here. Right, sir. Ah, uh, good enough. Max Jorgensen wasn't expecting us until tomorrow. Skipper? Just exactly what's the doc doing way out here in the South Pacific? Testing diving craft in an unexplored area, Scotty. In the same place you reported discovering that garden? Yeah. Nestled on the floor of a steep canyon. He says it's enchanted. Enchanted? <laughs> you think he's been down too deep too long? <laughs> hey, if you'll pardon me, Captain, I know Max Jorgensen is a good friend of yours. He's probably the greatest deep water specialist we have. But how come he... He lost a diving craft with all hands on board? Well, yes, sir. I don't know, Pee-wee. That's what we're on our way to find out. Keep in mind, Pee-wee, that four other deep diving craft have been lost in that same area. The doc isn't alone. No, not anymore, he isn't. Keep the boat steady! I'm just trying to let the pressure go. All right, watch it. Keep her up the side! Western Shores Oceanographic Lab Ship. That's a rescue operation underway. Ahoy, Lab Ship! Captain Fathom, Argonaut here! Ahoy, Argonaut! Captain Wells! Leg clear till we complete recovery! What's your trouble? We lost the deep water chamber! Four men aboard! Where's Dr. Jorgensen? He was down with him! Get me in close, Scotty. I'm going aboard. Aye, aye, Skipper. I got back to the chamber as soon as I could. I barely had time to shoot a photograph of it before it disappeared into the seaweed. You didn't follow it, Max? Couldn't. The minute capsule's battery power was exhausted. I was lucky to get out a call for help. We had to fish for him with the cable and hook. Photos are ready, Captain. Give them to the doctor. Thank you, Joe. Hmm, it's man-made, all right. Looks like an electrode of some sort. Analyze later, Max. Let's see the other one. There. The deep chamber is... Why, it's incredible. Looks like some kind of transparent material wrapped around it. Cables or ropes. Look again, Fathom. It's muscular tissue. But, Doctor, that would have to be some kind of bottom creature to... Yeah, quite right. You sure, Max? Look at the size in relation to the diving chamber. I am looking, Fathom. Whatever is holding that craft and the three men inside would have to measure a span of 70 feet. Grab something. 
they'd rather lose a camera sled. Man, that's some garden. I don't get it, Captain. It's usually pitch black down that deep. If you'll pardon the expression, that's part of the enchantment. The plants are giving off a luminescent light, probably due to the same phenomenon that makes them so blasted big. What the? Captain, there's something coming up on the... Cut loose the sled. We're getting out of here. Not enough speed for control. Brace yourself. We're gonna hit the wall. Ronnie, you okay? Sir, shook up, sir, but I'm all right. We're bailing out of this fish. Okay, sir. Ready to pop the hatch. Hold it. What the devil? Something's wrapped around us. It's the thing. It's got us, Captain. We're moving. Back on the surface, Ronnie and Pete are being lowered in another diving craft when... Hey, John, look! Uh, a submarine, a racing craft, foreign made. Uh-oh, I've seen that little firecracker before. It looks like... What's the matter? You don't care where you jump for your junk? It's them. Oh, boy. You know those two? I meet Senior Zabaloni and Scalapini. You drop a tin can on us. You want to sink in my boat? Ah, you think you ordered the whole ocean? That's right. You just to make international accident. Incident that your father had international incident. That's the one I told him. Hold your horse, you nutty pizza pushers. Hey, who's it that? Scotty McIntosh from the Argonauts. The Argonauts? Hey, that's the captain of bottom of the boat. <laughs> hey, sure, Scotty. <laughs> Best of all, the marine engineer I ever met. Except to me, of course. Hello, Scotty. Hey, Paisano, we brought you back your thin fish. Where do you want to put him? Tin fish? Go into the nest. Oh, these jumping sea turtles. They've got the skipper in there. Doc, where do you keep the rat poison? First aid's fresh out, Scotty. You think Captain Fathom will be sore? Nah. I just don't want to be around for the massacre. So as you see, Captain Fathom, so it was a natural mistake. Very natural, huh? Well, maybe for you two. <laughs> uh, that's a very nice you, uh, you understand it, Captain. Are you going to accept our apologies, huh? He already told you. He understands you dumb trick. My dumb trick? What do you mean by that? Then that's a your idea. For the head of Pastor Frazula. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's just forget the whole thing. What are you two doing out here? Uh, they hire us to dive for the Pizza Bella. That's the oceanographic ship. That's right. Uh, that's the oceanographic ship. Uh, we work in the New Hebrides Trench. That's a south of here. My friend, the mechanic, he's a no good in navigator, too. That's how we get off the coast and come over here. Oh, boy, I'm going to smash you, Abalone. As long as you're here, you can make up for your interference with our operation. Sure, Captain, sure. You, Captain, it's you. Dr. Jorgensen will fill you in on our plan. <laughs> Five degrees to port, Ronnie. Okay, Pete. Can you see the electrode? Yep. Set it down here. There's no denying the garden's a beauty. But it's creepy down here. Yeah. Get your homing device turned on, and we can leave this sitting duck. That's it. Now, when our mysterious monster takes off with his empty saucer, the captain will be able to follow the signal all the way back to its hideout. It proves man is smarter than beast. Okay, the homing signal is working. Let's go, Pete. The hatch. It won't open. Look, the thing's got us. We're trapped. It doesn't make sense, Max. Two more men, just carried away. My men this time. I don't like losing men or diving craft, Fathom. Then quit playing. I'm not buying any more clever stunts or fishing tricks to lure this, this, whatchamacallit, into a gentle trap for science. What are you going to do, Captain? Take your Argonaut down there with guns blazing? Torpedo it, maybe? Shoot up the whole seafloor so we can't find even a trace of the missing crews? I've got a better idea, Max. Anything's better. Oh, okay, what's your inspiration? 
Just before we lost communication with Ronnie and Pete, they managed to describe what sounded like a jellyfish of some sort. Sounds possible. The photograph I took of my diving chamber had tentacles around it that could have been one. An unbelievably large jellyfish. Yeah. I don't know if my plan will work, but tell me about this jellyfish critter. Just happened to have the data on hand. You've seen a few jellyfish in your time, of course. Uh, the usual species, yeah, but not your special enchanted garden variety. Millions of years before humans arrived on this earth, the jellyfish was traveling around by means of jet propulsion. He takes water into his mouth, fills up his body, and pushes the water out again. A yeah, clever arrangement, but it doesn't make him capable of operating in a pattern of reasoning. Our jellyfish acts like it's under some method of human control. You're thinking of the electrode we found down in the garden. Oh, it fits. Every time any of the captive crewmen have tried to call for help, their radio transmission is scrambled by electrical interference. Max, how big do common, ordinary jellyfish get? Mm, a seven-foot jellyfish often has tentacles 125 feet long. Mm -hmm. Grow one ten times that size, and we have a monster big enough to pick up a deep diving chamber like it was an egg. Yes. Four of them in the last month. What flags? One Italian, two French, another American. You have your favorite diving craft aboard, Max? Yes, the membrane is aboard. But surely you don't... Now, let's don't waste time arguing. Come on. Hasn't changed a bit. Same old plastic sandwich bag. Watch your tongue, Fathom. That's my brainchild you're talking about. Sorry about that, Doc. No. Why the membrane, Fathom? I figure on letting the enemy take me for bait. As soon as it hauls me to its lair, I pull away and come back here for support. You figure on getting out of the tentacles by depressurizing the flexible walls of the membrane, right? Slip right out. Your strategy has a hole in it, Captain. Jellyfish tentacles have adhesive power, sticky enough to hold whatever they grab and carry it right up to its mouth. I'm afraid you'd be good and stuck, my friend. Nope. You overlooked plan B. Abalone and Scalopini come down with their racing submarine and get me unstuck. You'd rely on them? Fathom, you really do like to live dangerously, don't you? Wouldn't have it any other way, Max. Boy. Come on, let's get started. The bottom's coming up. 5,376. Bring up that pressure. Pressure up. Watch that gauge, Fathom, with that envelope and fold up like a piece of mail. Check. Stop dive. That's it, Max. Give me a little more drift. OK. Your cable tension is set, Fathom. Maintain environmental atmosphere. Hold it. It looks like... Yeah. I've got company. Stand by. We hit it on the nose, Max. It's a jellyfish, all right. And I mean king size. Ah. The slimy thing is wrapping me up. Call that submarine quick. Let me take Yargo down, Skipper. Hey, negative, Scotty. Stick to the plan. Take up the cable slack. This monster is really moving. The brakes are on, Skipper. Max, get that sub down here. Tell him to Skipper. No use, Scotty. We can't reach him. I'll call Abalone. Good thing, Doc. Don't worry, we got him. Come on, start. You no good one longer. Hurry up, Abalone. The captain is in trouble. He's in trouble. You're in a trouble, you no good a mechanic. What do you mean to me? You're such a dumb pilot, you can't start an after. Get caught in it. Hey, don't let him be anything with. Captain Fathom is unaware that the giant jellyfish which holds him captive is taking him to a rendezvous with the notorious Chang. Our hunter has brought us our prey, Lin Hao. Open the airlock. At once on your watch hands. Captain Fathom, a most unexpected surprise. Chang. I trust you did not find my chauffeur too unpleasant to behold. <laughs> he was no uglier than my host. You will not be so arrogant when you learn what I have in store for you. Ronnie, Pete, what have you done to them, Chang? They are not hurt, merely immobilized by my overpressurization of their suits. 
Oh, you're just full of clever tricks, aren't you? That is so. I have more to show you. Your trained jellyfish will do for openers. Ah! At my command, an electrical field is initiated from this negative electrode. It travels to a positive electrode mounted on the seafloor on the far side of the garden. The fish swims toward a positive electrode and away from the negative. Uh, when you want it to come home, you reverse the field. That is so. When you know about this? We use the system to repel sharks. Also, we found your electrode in the garden. In the body of the jellyfish is attached a small Doppler device. An increase in electrical charge causes the tentacles to contract and hold selected objects. Well, you've been selecting the wrong objects, Chang. An intruder is in range, sire. Send out the hunter as you wish, sire. <laughs> This is all very clever, Shank, but where's the really big show? Ah, you Westerners are impatient. Follow me to the workroom. See here, Scotty? He chose up here in the shaded lines on the echo finder. He chose a profile on the seafloor as we pass over it. Hey, I'll give Abalonia a call to take a look around. Observe! Are they not magnificent? So that's what you're using a stolen diving craft for. Missile launchers. They provide basic machinery. Most necessary to use deep water equipment. Naturally. Once you mount atomic missiles on them, you plant them deep. Not a problem, Captain. Getting experts to work on them was no problem either. You've got those captive crewmen as slave labor. The best men for the job. They know the equipment. How do you expect to plant those rocket launchers without being detected? You think our defense forces are asleep? American security is most alert. However, my friends take their fishing trawlers in close, unmolested, all along the shores of the United States. Oh, yeah. You plant a couple off the Atlantic, a couple off the Pacific, and a couple off the Gulf of Mexico, huh? And your country will be encircled on three sides. Their atomic nuclear warheads can destroy your homeland. But too bad. You will not be here to see it. But then perhaps you would not want to. Eh, Captain Fathom? <laughs> hey, Abalone, look down there. It's a jellyfish. Look, you cry. A blue pizza. Shoot. And a mozzarella cheese dripping down. Hey, wait a minute. That's the jellyfish arms are supposed to be wrapped around the captain of bottom. That's all right. Something's wrong. I'm a call on the radio. Hello. Hello, laboratory ship. It's a number one to call you. Go ahead, number one. What at the 2,500 feet? The jellyfish, he's a below. But he's a no god of the captain. All right, number one. Keep him in sight. We'll call you back. Out. You're crazy! It's not going to work! Show sure it to work! I choose to dive onto the jellyfish. Make a fast, sharp turn. In and out. Get the legs all the tangle up. Then the fish, she's a swim back home. And the whip find it high now. Shh, shh. Abalone, you're not going to make it. Pull up! Pull up! Abalone and Scalapini, in an attempt to rescue Captain Fathom from the notorious Chang, have purposely rammed a giant jellyfish, causing short-circuiting of Chang's electronically controlled underwater missile base. Hold up, Something wrong! Shut up, Fowler, stupid dog! <laughs> cool in a while, Chang. I'll be back later. <laughs> Ronnie, Pete, listen. I'm going to open your safety valve. You'll be able to move around as soon as your suit pressure is equalized to this room. Sensing great danger, Scotty could no longer heed his orders to remain on the surface and takes the Argonaut down in an attempt to find Captain Fathom. I see something ahead, Scotty. All back full. OK, all back full. It looks like a kind of grotto or a deep cave. We'll move up. Easy, like. 
Here comes Speak, Captain. Did you warn the workers? I did, sir. They're all ready. Where's Chang? In there. Chang and his men escaped into that secret tunnel. Ronnie, Pete, stand by. I'm opening the outside sea hatch. All right. Now the airlock. The whole ocean's gonna rush in on us, Captain. You're seaworthy with those outfits. Just stay out of the main rush. missing crewmen are safely aboard. Yeah, we could have saved Chang and his men if they hadn't escaped into that dead-end tunnel. They lost face by their failure. They wouldn't have lived long anyway. You did what you could. <laughs> 